ओम शांति 28th नवंबर 2022 इंग्लिश मॉडली एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन स्टडी वेल एंड शो द प्रूफ ऑफ इट डू सर्विस एंड मेक अदर्स वर्दी फॉर ओनली देन विल यू क्लेम अ राइट टू अ हाई स्टेटस क्वेश्चन व्हिच चिल्ड्रन आर प्रेज्ड इन दिस अनलिमिटेड स्कूल आंसर those who study well and serve to make others equal to themselves those who remain busy in earning a spiritual income who don't become happy simply seeing others but who do service in the same way as the mother and father do and sit on their throne such children are praised by the mother and father and the special beloved children one feels sorry for those who waste their time and don't pay attention to the study who don't follow the mother and father they cannot claim a high status they constantly complain that they are unable to have yoga today's song is have patience o oh mind your days of happiness are about to come om shanti the father sits here and explains to you children that your days of happiness will come if you follow shrimat then to the extent that you follow shrimat so you will accordingly become elevated everyone will become elevated but those who follow shrimat well will become very elevated some study well and others study less or they don't study at all those who don't study are considered to be bad some study this very well and so they become worthy of teaching others some don't pay attention at all you children understand that if you study an education very well you also become just as worthy otherwise you will become unworthy those who are worthy will definitely receive a good status you are now studying for the land of happiness and the status in that is also number wise people work so hard to receive a status that happiness is as temporary as the droppings of a crow here you have limitless happiness the children who follow shrimat will be able to attain limitless happiness and they will glorify their names in the brahmin clan the father's orders to the children are do service and enable others to receive a highest on high status and your status will also become high study well and show the father the proof of that baba i gave this many people baba's introduction at exhibitions too first of all give the father's introduction give them his introduction and then make them write it down it is very easy to explain this there are two fathers a worldly father and the father from beyond the world you receive a limited inheritance from a worldly father and that is said to be happiness like the droppings of a crow the unlimited father gives you unlimited happiness and makes you into the masters of heaven therefore you children have to do service and make others equal to yourselves you mustn't simply remember the father but you must also do the same service that he does to remember krishna or anyone else and then not imbibe virtues like that one is of no use you don't receive any fruit from them on the path of devotion you only continued to come down by remembering the deities now even mama and baba are engaged in the service of giving salvation the children who do service in the same way as the mother and father are the real children of the mother and father otherwise they are said to be weak the father is also pleased when he sees that his beloved children are doing the same service that he is doing in the world children who study well are able to sit in the father's heart they earn a good income you also have to earn this spiritual income don't become happy just looking at others study teach others and claim a high status 
for only then will the mother, the father, and the special beloved children praise you. This is an unlimited school. Thousands come to study here. Those who don't study well understand that they aren't able to have proper yoga. Those children are unable to be seated in the father's heart. You have become the children and so the mother and father do sustain you, do they not? Nevertheless, the father explains, follow the mother and father and the special beloved children. You have to do a lot of service. There are millions of those social workers. If you have knowledge, you have to become spiritual social workers. Otherwise, it would be understood that you don't have full knowledge. Instead of having knowledge, you have more ignorance due to which your status will be destroyed. You won't be able to claim a high status. The father feels compassion. Effort definitely needs to be made for whatever you study. You cannot pass without making effort. Some fail two or three times and so they waste their time. Those who study less should have regard for those who study well because they become senior brothers and sisters and do service like Mama and Baba. Those who serve well are invited everywhere. Therefore, you should think, why should I not make effort and become like them and make others similar to myself? You have to give the unlimited father's introduction and explain how you receive the unlimited inheritance from him. That unlimited father who is beyond birth and death is the one who gives you happiness for all time. There are two fathers. One is the father of souls and the other is the Alokic father. And this is why you say Bap Dada. In worldly relationships too, you have Bap and Dada. This one is the Palokic Bap Dada. From the Palokic father, you receive a reward for the future 21 generations. You receive an inheritance of temporary happiness from physical fathers for birth after birth. You continue to receive other fathers and you continue to take rebirth. The inheritance of this time continues for 21 births in the golden and silver ages. Although you continue to receive other fathers, you still remain in the land of happiness. Then the kingdom of Maya begins with the copper age and it gradually becomes your stage of descent. This should remain in your intellects. When you begin to come down, you take births quickly. You take 21 births in one half of a cycle. So why do you take 63 births in the other half of cycle? Because you are impure, you continue to come down quickly. By the time the father came, you had come down completely. You have now become Brahmins of the Confluence Age. Although you have a connection with the Iron Age, you still consider yourselves to be Confluence Aged. You know that Baba is making you into the masters of the Supreme Abode. While living at home with your families, you understand that they are living in the Iron Age, whereas you are living in the Confluence Age. They are stocks who indulge in vice and you are swans who are viceless. You mustn't only show this difference externally. Antaryami Baba, in brackets, one who knows all secrets within, knows everything internally. The father continues to say, children, don't perform any sinful acts. It is said, those who steal a straw are the same as those who steal hundreds of thousands. Once someone steals something, there is doubt about him for one to two years. That doubt is then erased with great difficulty. Therefore, why should you perform such acts? It is Maya that makes you perform those acts. After Maya scalps your head, ask yourself, what have I done? 
You then ask Baba for forgiveness. Baba says, Okay, child, it doesn't matter now, but don't do it again. It is good that you told Baba about your mistake. Otherwise, that would have continued to increase. Some write to Baba saying, I became angry. I dirtied my face. I dirtied my own face and also that of my wife. Baba then writes back, If after belonging to the father and making a promise to him, you dirty your face and defame the name of the Brahmin clan, you are liable to receive punishment. The highest on high, even higher than the deities, is the Brahmin clan. You Brahmins make Bharat pure from impure. You had claimed your fortune of the kingdom in the golden and silver ages for 21 births. At that time, you were beautiful and then for 63 births, you sat on the pyre of lust and became ugly. It is said that the children of the ocean sat on the pyre of lust and were destroyed and that the ocean then showered the rain of knowledge and they awakened and became beautiful. The Krishna soul definitely has to take 84 births. For 21 births, he is beautiful and for 63 births, he is ugly. Now his feet are towards the old world and his face is towards the new world. The one who was the number one worthy of worship soul became a worshipper and is now in the last number. He himself became that worshipper and used to worship Narayan. Now he himself is becoming that worthy of worship Narayan. He has to go into the first number. The day of Brahma is heaven and the night of Brahma is hell. Shibaba comes to change night into day. The night of half a cycle is now ending and the day is coming. They speak of the night of Shiva but instead of Shiva's name, they have put Krishna's name and said that he took birth in the night. This actually refers to Shibaba. They don't know the date, time or moment when Shibaba comes. There is a fixed moment for the coming of Krishna. He is the one who comes into rebirth. Shibaba comes and instantly begins to give his introduction. For some time, Baba didn't even know who had come and who was speaking. It was after some time that he realized it was Shri Baba, the ocean of knowledge, who was speaking. Shri Baba establishes the land of Vishnu through Brahma. Brahma exists here. The land of Krishna is also here, behind the throne of Lakshmi and Narayan. There is the picture of Vishnu. However, they don't have knowledge at all. Similarly, the government has a picture of the Trimurti. This is something to be understood. Some children don't understand a great deal, but you at least understand the contrast between a worldly father and the father from beyond. Do you not? You also remember O purifier, O merciful one, O remover of sorrow and bestower of happiness. No one remembers him in the golden age. It is here that the father fulfills all your desires. In the golden age you receive such infinite happiness that there is no need for you to work hard. You have to follow Shremat. Those who don't follow it are orphans. They are called stocks. Sometimes swans have to stay with stocks. You have to live at home with your families and this is why there are sometimes reports received. The husband is fighting, so and so is fighting. In the world there is nothing but fighting. There is even fighting because of purity. You have to take precautions about your food and drink. This becomes a problem for many. The father tells you so much. 
eat your meals while having remembrance directions are not being put into practice you should practice this you are the shaktis who make the impure world pure your sins are burnt by having remembrance this requires a lot of effort and this is why only a handful out of multi millions emerge even while making effort they fall there are those who are amazed by this knowledge belong to baba and say baba baba but in spite of that they don't follow shrimat and so they fall and run away maya pulls them and so they divorce the father whatever happened in the previous cycle has to repeat this requires effort only those who follow shrimat are able to imbibe these things if after saying mama and baba you don't follow them you will go into degradation that is you will attain a low status uneducated ones will have to bow down in front of educated ones they will become maids and servants those who don't become real brahmins will claim a status worth a few pennies among the subjects none of the other founders of religions establish a kingdom it is only the unlimited father who establishes a kingdom for the future you have to make effort to become pure you are becoming flowers whereas those who indulge in vice become thorns they continue to cause one another sorrow from the beginning through the middle to the end this is a world of thorns you are now becoming flowers at the confluence age the golden age is a garden of flowers at the confluence age the forest changes into a garden this is the auspicious confluence or meeting it is now that the meeting of souls with the supreme soul takes place you know that you are now claiming your inheritance from the supreme father the supreme soul for 21 births there is pleasure in attaining a kingdom however what would happen by your saying that you will receive whatever is in your fortune you have to give the introduction of the unlimited father you are experienced and you have to do service each of you should ask your heart how many have i served if you have knowledge you should become busy in doing service if there is no knowledge there is no service and there is then no high status if it is not in their fortune they don't make effort acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children spiritual serviceable children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children extend their love remembrance say good morning namaste and thank you to the spiritual bab dada essence for dharana first point put the father's directions into practice maintain full precautions over your food and drink practice staying in remembrance while taking your meals number 2 serve like the mother and father do definitely give regard to the seniors become spiritual social workers and give everyone the father's introduction blessing may you be a master trikal darshi and know your own future by being aware of this benevolent time explanation if someone asks you what your future is tell him we know that it is very good because we know that whatever comes tomorrow will be very good whatever happened was good whatever is happening is good and whatever is to happen will be very good the children who are master trikal darshis have the faith that this is the benevolent time that their father is benevolent 
and that they are world benefactors and so there cannot be anything not benevolent for them. Slogan In order to bring the time of completion close, make effort to become complete and perfect. Om Shanti